Good morning, good morning. You will probably receive this uh, voice memo later in the day, but right now it is probably about 6.30 in the morning. Um, I've been up since about 5.30, 5.45. I've been praying. Many of you have been um, coming up in my spirit as I've prayed this morning, uh, different faces that I see uh, that are part of our, our family, our, our congregation, uh, Maranatha Life Church. I see, I see many of your, uh, many of your faces. I'm seeing the faces of your children. I am, um, and I'm just praying. I'm, I am before the Lord and I'm crying out to the Lord. Uh, but something that came up in my spirit this morning and the trick of the enemy, hear me, my sons and my daughters, my brothers and my sisters, hear me. Part of the trick of the enemy is when he tricks us to remain in a place of complacency. The enemy wants to keep you in a complacent place, in a place where you're comfortable with your life, you're comfortable with your prayer life, you're comfortable with your giving, you're comfortable with not coming to prayer, you're comfortable not coming to the house of God, you're comfortable staying at home. And it is almost like like this, this deception that the enemy wants to uh, almost to to hypnotize you in the spirit, this deception that all is well, just stay where you are. You don't have to do anything different. You don't have to come out of your comfort zone. All is well. And I'm here to tell you that that is a trick and a lie of the enemy. I declare in the name of Jesus that you come out of that place of complacency. In the name of Jesus, I declare that your eyes in this very moment are opened to the things of God and to the things of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I call you out of the place of complacency. And in the name of Jesus, I prophesy over you that you are breaking out of that place of complacency. I prophesy over you that you are breaking out of the comfortable place. I prophesy over you that you are going to go into a deeper place of prayer. I declare over you that you're going to go into a deeper place of consecration. I declare that you're going to go into a deeper place of fasting. You're going to go into a deeper place of hearing the voice of God. I declare that you are coming out of the sin that you are comfortable with and you are coming into a place of holiness. I declare a hunger and a thirst in you for the righteousness of God, for the presence of God, for the peace of God in the name of Jesus. And I declare right now that you would become so uncomfortable that you would break out of that place of complacency in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you belong to God. And I need you to understand that your children belong to God. Everything connected to you must be touched by God, must be filled by God. And we're in a new season. And I don't say that to be religious. I don't say that because uh, we're now a new church. Uh, I don't say that because we're in a new building. I don't say that because of anything religious. I'm saying it to you because I perceive it in the spirit. And this is the thing with God. God is always doing something new in the spirit, but it depends on where we are in the spirit. If we're going to realize that God is doing something new and also jump into what God is doing, which is the new thing. And I believe that God continues to awaken us make us aware and give us understanding and give us eyes to see in the spirit what he is doing that is new so that we can jump into it. That's why you can't stay comfortable. That's why you can't stay in the same position. That's why you can't allow the enemy to trick you and fool you into thinking, oh, everything's cool. Everything is fine while you're remaining comfortable. No, wake up, wake up in the spirit. Come out of your comfort zone. I declare and I decree that it's already done. It is already done. 
in Jesus name. I love you. Be blessed today. Have an amazing, amazing, amazing day today. If you did not listen to uh, the message that was shared this past Sunday at our first service in our new location, go to my website uh, channel, Pastor Joanne Rosario, and listen to it and listen to it because we have to line up with what God is saying for this moment and for this hour. Also, this week, you know, or you may not know, but we have prayer. We have prayer on Wednesday uh, on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. Come ready to pray. Come ready to engage in prayer and come to learn how to pray because we are going to build up a, a family of people that are warriors in the place of prayer, okay? So 7 p.m. Wednesday at our new location in Austell, 5717 South Gordon Road, okay? Wednesday night, 7 p.m. And of course, we continue with our Bible study online on uh, tonight at 8 8 p.m., okay? I love you, be blessed, and know that God wakes me up to pray for you. You are not alone. You are covered in the name of Jesus, and you are not a victim. You are victorious. I love you. Be blessed.